Hey everyone, Robin from Backscatter here. Let's take a look at expanded viewfinders and why you need one for underwater photography. An expanded viewfinder is an accessory that mounts on your housing and creates a clear, unobstructed view of the entire frame at a more ergonomic and practical viewing angle. In this video, we'll break down all of their benefits for SLR, mirrorless, and even compact cameras, and we'll show you how to install them on your housing. This is essential knowledge for any underwater photographer who wants to improve their photo composition and quality of life while shooting and start coming back to the surface with more keeper shots. If you're like us, then you'll take one look through an expanded viewfinder and never look back. Expanded viewfinders are what allow us to actually see our entire image through the built-in viewfinder on our camera. Without one, we cannot see the complete frame. When our camera is loaded in the housing, the built-in viewfinder becomes farther away and much harder to see. Using it is kind of like trying to compose a photo through a peephole. You can't see the whole image, only the center of the frame as the corners are obscured. Most stock viewfinders on underwater housings even further reduce the size of the image in an attempt to make more of it visible making it both smaller and farther away. If you have vision issues like requiring glasses for reading, a prescription mask, or both, then odds are that the basic viewfinder setup will be difficult to see underwater and will lead to some challenges when composing photos. You also have to factor in that you have to make room for your mask and your regulator, both of which limit how close you can get to the built-in viewfinder. Using an expanded viewfinder makes the entire frame visible and larger and allows you to compose the negative space or the foreground elements that would be otherwise obscured when just using the standard stock viewfinder. Being able to actually see the entire frame and what's going on in your shot is the key to composing better photos. Plus, you can actually comfortably fit your face up close where it needs to be while leaving room for your rig. When swimming, we're generally horizontal, like this. It really doesn't work too well when you have to either crane your neck or come up into a vertical position just to look through a straight viewfinder. Angled expanded viewfinders present us with a more ergonomic shooting position while in the water, allowing us to maintain our horizontal position while still seeing our shot. We feel the benefit of an angled expanded viewfinder the most when shooting macro. A lot of macro shots require us to get our camera down low into the sand, so by keeping our viewing angle up, we're able to avoid having to bury our face in the sand too, just to see our image. We prefer shooting with an angled viewfinder most of the time for both macro and wide angle shots. This is way more comfortable and practical for shooting upward angled wide shots like sunballs and split shots at the surface. We can even switch to vertical compositions and just freely rotate the viewfinder to accommodate our new shooting angle. We shoot with an angled viewfinder for every dive unless we know we're going to be spending that dive in a vertical position. When you are vertical in the water, such as when you're shooting pelagics, bait balls, or when you're in a shark cage, you can use a straight expanded viewfinder to easily just bring the camera directly up to your eye for a straight on look at the fast moving action. If you're using an angled instead of a straight in these situations, we recommend that you point with your knuckles towards the subject and then just look down into the viewfinder. Ideally, you would have one of each viewfinder for any shooting situation, but if your budget only allows for one, choose an angled viewfinder if you're shooting mostly reef compositions and macro, and choose a straight one if you're mostly shooting fast-moving pelagic action. The rear screen of the camera can be hard to see in the housing when you're working in clear, bright water conditions. When you're shooting a mirrorless camera and composing from the screen at only 10 feet in clear water at high noon on a sunny day, you're gonna have to contend with screen glare. This can be absolutely brutal and it'll force you to effectively have to shoot blind if you're composing from the screen. If you're shooting with an SLR, the rear screen is the only way to review your images. When you're working under these conditions, it can be basically impossible to check your shots. Using an expanded viewfinder creates a darkened, glare-free, loop-style view that's easy to see no matter how bright our conditions are when we're working close to the surface. Mm -hmm. 
Even when shooting a mirrorless camera with a large, sharp image on the rear screen, we still prefer composing photos through a viewfinder. This is not only for the benefits that we've already covered, but also for some unique benefits that mirrorless cameras have over SLRs when using an expanded viewfinder. Mirrorless cameras can take advantage of built-in exposure and focus assistance tools like focus peaking and zebra striping directly through the viewfinder thanks to the electronic image. This is something that an SLR cannot do because of its optical image. Mirrorless cameras also have the benefit of being able to display playback through that electronic viewfinder, making it possible to review photos and videos without ever taking your eye away from the viewfinder. Something else SLR shooters will wish they could do too. Compact cameras don't have a built-in viewfinder. They only have a rear screen. There's also some mirrorless cameras like the popular Olympus EPL-10 that don't have a built-in viewfinder. For these cameras, we use a simple screen magnifier viewfinder accessory to achieve basically the same effects and benefits as an expanded viewfinder on a mirrorless or SLR with a built-in viewfinder. Screen magnifying viewfinders will easily attach to the back of the housing and eliminate screen glare while also presenting an enlarged image and or a better viewing angle. Some of these also offer adjustable diopters to be able to adjust the image in the viewfinder to the sharpest focus for your eye at the right viewing distance. Others offer a modified viewing angle to make it easy for those macro shots where we gotta get the camera down low in the sand. There are several different ways that expanded viewfinders install on housings depending on the manufacturer, but all of them are very easy and can be done in moments. But if you need help installing yours, then just give us a call. After getting the viewfinder installed, also check to see if your camera has a built-in viewfinder diopter adjustment. This will adjust the sharpness of the built-in viewfinder image to your eye. Use this to get the camera's viewfinder set in tandem with the expanded viewfinder for your eyes and mask at the right viewing distance. Some expanded viewfinders even offer further diopter control, allowing you to really fine tune the underwater sweet spot for the sharpest image. One warning is that you never want to pack your housing for travel with an expanded viewfinder installed. It's a large, awkward point of leverage, and it could cause some serious problems if it gets banged around like that. When packing for a trip, always take the viewfinder off and pack it separately. It's always easy to just attach it again when you get to your destination. So whether you shoot SLR, mirrorless, or compact, all shooters will benefit from an expanded viewfinder. It's the single best accessory you can use to start composing better photos. SLR shooters need one to see the entire frame and to be able to compose the shot properly. Mirrorless shooters need them to overcome screen glare in bright conditions while also using digital tools and image review directly through the viewfinder. Compact camera shooters can also eliminate screen glare and get a larger, magnified, more ergonomic viewing angle too. Anyone shooting macro, regardless of camera type, really needs one of these to get their face up out of the sand to be able to see the shot while keeping the camera down low. Use an angled viewfinder for most shooting, but when you know you're gonna be hanging out in an upright position, then switch to a straight. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. But more importantly, help us keep making more of this content by getting your underwater photo and video gear from us here at Backscatter. We'll beat any competitor's price. We ship internationally every day. We dive, shoot, and service everything that we sell, and every purchase includes free lifetime tech support. We're only just a phone call away if you ever need help, and we're always happy to provide it. Thanks for watching. I'm Robin from Backscatter, signing off.